Hey ladies, so this is my last packer design for this season. Um, I will definitely be doing more next year as well as different another, uh, other NFL nail designs after this. So if you want to find out how I got this design, just keep watching. So I'll be using these green and yellow polishes. They're awesome by the way. I got them from BundleMonster.com. Bundle I'll be also using some green and yellow striping tape and some green and yellow heart-shaped gems as well as these stickers that I picked up from my local Walmart. I'll be painting my pinky and my thumb a yellow and then my middle finger I'll be painting that green. And as you can see, these nail polishes, these are actually um, stamping polishes. and. Yeah, they, they are just awesome. I got like, um, maybe it was like a six pack of them. I can't remember for how much, but yeah, they're just, yeah, the color and everything. Like you could pretty much almost get away with just doing one coat, but just by habit, I just automatically do two coats. But yeah, you can almost just get away with just doing one coat. So on my index and my ring finger, I'm going to be doing um, a grading effect. So I'm going to be using some Simply Peel so it's less cleanup. I'll be using a sponge and I'll be painting half that yellow and then the other half green. And then just go ahead and starting the grading effect. And I'll be doing this, yes, on my ring and my index finger. And I, I actually did this twice. Um, it was pretty good the first time around, but like I said, yeah, I always, it's just force of habit. I have to do, do it twice and I'm weird. Everything has to be like in pairs and everything has to end in, I don't know, I'm just strange, I swear to God, I'm just weird. But anyways, now I'm just gonna take that sticker, I, I had already cut it out, and I'm just gonna place that. I'm gonna do this, I, I skip around a lot, so sorry, but yeah, I'll be doing this on my middle finger, placing that sticker just kind of in the middle of my nail, kind of, um, yeah, like maybe three quarters up or like closer to my cuticle. And yeah, I'm just gonna make sure I get that straight and then press that down to make sure it sticks firmly. And I'll be using some nail glue to add my gems and I'll be using a green gem on top and a yellow on bottom. On my index and my ring finger I'll be using that striping tape and where it's yellow I'll be adding the green striping tape and then when I get closer to the, uh, the green I'll be switching over to the yellow and I believe I used four um, for the yellow and then just two um, or I used four green and then two yellow I'm like getting myself confused I'm like I actually still have it you know this design on my nails because it's for tomorrow's game which I'm so stoked about um, I can't wait for it we're having like a big party a whole bunch of food it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be a great time and I cannot wait but anyways I'm just going to go ahead and yeah what you want to do with a striping tape is you're gonna want to make sure this is fully down on your nails before you even start adding a top coat because it will lift up I did a gel top coat and it already started lifting up on um, the sides that I actually had to cut so I like to try to leave at least one side fully on my nail and only have to cut one side I don't know that's just how I like to do it I just never had good luck with striping tape it always wants to come up but it looks really nice so yeah and I never keep my nails for long I only keep a design on for maybe a few days and then I just have to change it And then on my pinky and my thumb, I'll be adding those green heart-shaped gems because I heart my packers. I know you guys are probably so sick of hearing that, but I love them. I really do. And I'm just going to be adding three on my pinky and then four on my thumb. And then to finish the design, you're just going to want to add a top coat. I did a gel top coat. Some people don't like going over their gems with the 
with gel, but um, yeah, I don't really mind it. I don't keep my designs for too long. And what I do is I just take a little brush and then I'll just go like around the gems just so it kind of scrapes up that little bulk, you know? But yeah, like I said, I, I don't really keep designs on my nail for too long. It's usually just a couple days and then I just take them off. So it doesn't really matter to me, but yeah, I'm just gonna add a top coat and be all done. And that is my design for you guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And as usual, I will see you in my next video. Bye.